Now then, there's no reason to hold up my room and stare blankly into space. Since there's time, it'd be a great idea if I went ahead and talked to everyone. Now it's sudden, it's time for a brief tutorial. During the school trip, there'll be moments called free time. During free time, you'll be able to strengthen your friendship by spending time with the other students. Also, if you give them a present afterwards, you might make an even better impression. You can obtain presents from the Mono Machine... Mono Mono Yashin? Yashin? And the vending machine at the supermarket. When you strengthen a friendship, an intimate event is activated and added to the report card. Also, if you show any hope fragments you've gathered to a song via the report card, you can gain new skills. Feel free to strengthen your friendships with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with someone, time will pass. And then you will return to your cottage afterward. After passing the time several times, your free time will end and you will continue on to the main story. By the way, you can skip free time by resting in your cottage bed. Although I don't really recommend it. Please use it if you want to just continue the main story right away. It's a free time! So the million dollar question is... Who are we gonna go hang out with? Well, who we got hanging around here? Definitely not hanging out with you. Well, that's the ultimate gamer. I could totally hang out with the ultimate gamer. And I see a few people coursing in for... Alright. Well, our first hang session will be with the ultimate gamer. Why the hell not? Yes, the person I'm gonna get killed. It's typically how it works. If I show any interest in someone, they die. Danganronpa taught me that. Does this mean this game is more involved than its predecessor? Uh, involved in what sense? For the most part, it's offered the exact same stuff that the original one did, with the exception of that there's also these hidden, um, stuffed animals. Do you need something? No, she's gaming, but she'll try asking Chunky if she wants to hang out. Um. Sure, can you just wait a sec? I need to find a save point. Aw, oh, you're talking my language. I spent time today sitting next to Chiaki while she played video games all day. I probably should have gone to the machine and bought some gifts first. Whoops. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Pretty sure we probably don't have anything, so... She's staring off into space again, as usual. I... Sorry. I was getting a little sleepy. While you were standing? I'm impressive. I mean, I've been sleeping well? Mm. Mm, when I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Yep, girl after my own heart. That's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. And that's what kind of dream you had? Well, it's a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? The statue of Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because the game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? Uh, more importantly, I must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Mm. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game. But still... Either way, that's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. If it doesn't mean... Oh, it doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. Yep, this girl is awesome. Uh, yeah, Urban. Alora is my actual wife. Doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying these, too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> as expected of the ultimate gamer. I'll probably just give up on a game like that. Um... To tell the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. Let's see, what is it? Oh my god, that hood is fucking adorable! I won't tell you. I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? 
You know, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Okay. Part of ways with Chiaki went back to my room. It's still bright out and I've still got some time left. Well, this time let's actually go buy gifts. We have 10 coins, which isn't much, but it'll get us something. Just glad the Gamer Girl was not depicted as one of the typical game. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I have a pink PSP. <laughs> it's covered in rhinestones. <laughs> it's totally bedazzled. Fuck that shit. Yeah, see, Pocket Coast knows what it's all about. I talked to her, so now she has to die. Alright, let's hit up the vending machine. Oh, you can actually just straight purchase stuff. That's a surprise. Well, hell, I'm gonna buy some ramen egg. And some mineral water. Oh, let's see, what else should we grab? Actually, what was the other thing? They said the beach you could also get stuff, so I wanna go check out the beach since we still have some coins. Have to hang out with the chef as much as possible. Oh, that's a fair point. If I hang out with him, there's a pretty good chance he'll eat it, right? Okay, so it is the Mono Mono Yashim. Let's see. Mono coins, mono coins, yeah. I already know all this. Okay, so this is more like the uh, the old one. I can't even tell what the hell that is. Let's just get ourselves a few random things. few random gift options. Oh, what the hell did we wind up with? We got coconut juice, non-alcoholic wine. Well, it's kind of lame. Codro baguette. Potato chips. Those are potato chips? Alright. Coconut. Jabba's natural salt. Mukuro's knife. All right. And and an and 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 what? Fashion magazine. And then of course the Fosho broken wand. Well, interesting. All right. Who are we going to spend time with now? We already hit Shiaki up once. Let's, uh, let's hang with someone else. I 
Okay, now let, let's go hang with the ultimate musician. Or can we? Oh, I don't I don't think you can if they're in their room. I suspect it's more like uh Dungarumpa one that way. I'm gonna assume they're not gonna come out if I knock on the door. Oh, oh, no they did answer. No, Urban, I don't want to know. Wow. She trashed this place fast. I'm thinking about that countdown at the park. I want to perform at the forum someday! Could it be a countdown for Ibuki's live performance? What do you think, Mr. Hajime? Uh... You have problems, so clearly we should spend time with you. <laughs> yes, Stevens, it is considered backseating. Again, if you have to ask... Don't. It's a really simple rule. I spent time today doing my best to entertain Ibuki. Feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. Alright, do we have anything that we think would be appropriate to her? Don't have anything particularly metal. literal knife, but... Ah, what the fuck. Let's give her something easily replaceable. Who the hell doesn't like ramen egg? Um, um, Apparently her. Yeah! Oh, or maybe not. Hurry, hurry up and choose me. Um, what? Hey, hey! We ever in any school clubs? School clubs, huh? I can't say for sure because what happened to our memories, but I pr our memories? I probably wasn't in any clubs. <laughs> it's a major bingo. Oh, what is? Uh. Isn't it obvious? You should be part of Ibuki's music club from now on. For a while, everyone thought music clubs were outdated because the rock and roll boom was dying off. That's totally it. But now, music clubs are super popular with boys for some reason. We should jump on the bandwagon, too. I'm not really into music. <laughs> no problem. You can just pretend you're playing an instrument while a music track plays in the background. That's not something the ultimate musician should say. Even if I'm pretending, I've never even held a musical instrument. <laughs> Everyone starts at that point. As long as you feel the love, there's no problem. But what do I have to do if I don't really feel the love? Aww. It's okay, jamming out is so much fun. They'll be popular with the ladies. Chicks go out with guys who pretend to be musicians all the time. <laughs> By the way, Ibiki thinks guys who don't like bands are narcissists, so she doesn't like them. That isn't something the ultimate musician should say either. Meow. Yeah, if you have not choose the musical instrument you want to use. Guitar! Ibiki has dibs on the guitar, so you can't use that. Looks like I've been roped into her scheme. I guess I really have to choose something. Never played any type of instrument before, so it doesn't really matter. Well, in that case, we'll say bass. It's easier to pretend you're playing a bass than it is to pretend you're playing the drums. I'll use the bass then. Aww. Nope, denied. What? I thought it was fun as long as I didn't pick the guitar. Aww. It might stand out too much in Steely Bikki's spotlight. She's supposed to be the main event, you know? What a selfish reason. I've never played any type of instrument before, so f fine drums. And I guess the drums. Good job. That's awesome. All right, it's decided. Drums are great because you can just hit them to the beat and you don't even need to know how to read music. <laughs> as long as you can move your arms and legs independently of each other, even a novice can play them real easy. Though to be fair, running the kick pedal off beat from the uh, the hands can be a hell of a thing in a fast song. Air drums. Every drummer in the world would hate you for saying that. I see, I see. Now that we've decided on an instrument, <laughs> start with learning how to use a loudspeaker. Hold on a second. Why would you need a loudspeaker? Huh? I'm just saying. It's a must-have item for live performances. <laughs> Doesn't mean you just hold it and scream into it. If you don't put your soul into it, the loudspeaker won't respond to you. <laughs> she has such interesting facial expressions. <clears throat> I was 
forced to do some weird training that didn't make any sense to me at all. I didn't really understand Ibiki to begin with, but with this, I don't understand her even more. I parted ways with Ibiki and went back to my room. Is that all we get for today? That's all we get for today. Well, that's two potential people who will die because I've shown something resembling a passing interest in them. Ah, that bell just now. Could it be? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Hello, everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! <coughs> I wonder what festivities await you. Oops, don't want to ruin the surprise. It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park. Well, I guess we're going to get an explanation for whatever's up there. I'm assuming this is the motivation. Did he just tell us to go to the park? It's the middle of the night. What's he up to? Suddenly had a bad feeling about all this and goosebumps sprung up all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it, what is it now? Well, fine, let's go see what he's got going on. Murder time, fun time! Oh yeah, Professor Genki for the win. Actually, yeah, I mean, my, uh, my Saints Row 3 character is basically dressed in a very nice black suit, black gloves, red shirt, black tie, and the big Professor Genki head. There was something about that smile that made it just incredibly creeptastic as you ran around and shot people. Hello. Everyone was already at Jabwalk Park when I arrived. Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. How annoying! Yes, the Genki head is. I, I want that in every game I play. That coupled with a suit, the juxtaposition is just monstrous. No, oh, what is it this time? It's so friggin' annoying. And you shouldn't have come. I mean... No, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> eh, as long as know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test it out. <laughs> hey, you may talk like you're tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared, too. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? Why, you... The fuck did you just say? Wait! Stop it, you two. Fighting among friends isn't good. Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Dumbass! Not your friend, dumbass. When did they ever become friends with you bastards? Let me be perfectly clear. I can do it, you know. Oh, he's gonna say I could kill someone. Way to go, dude. You. What did you just say? <laughs> Didn't you hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said I can do it. Do it? What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? It's fine. Just leave him alone for now. It's fine? I thought Byakuya, of all people, would stop him. Still counting down. That's... Hey, Panasul! Yes! Togami got that. You know, these things happen. That's life, right? He's still Brogami, though. And he's still pretty Asus. Yeah, Sephiroth. Since he says something like that, you kind of expect him to be the one who turns up dead. What are you saying, Fuyuhiko? Let's, let's just calm him down for now. I guess I gotta talk to him now. Hey, Fuyuhiko, why don't you calm down for a bit? Bastard! Don't talk to me like we're friends or something. Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed. It's the kind of world I live in. Jeez. Current rules make more sense to me than that plain ice and get along crap. What are you saying? 
You don't stop it right now. I'm gonna get seriously angry. Don't treat me like a kid, bitch. Just stop. He's kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! There's no way I'm dealing with this kumbaya crap. <laughs> if any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll fucking kill you right now. I'm starting to get pumped up. Sounds fun. Give me your best shot. I like her style. What's gonna happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. Huh? I see. Here you go. I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also felt the same way as you. Don't treat me like a fucking kid! Let me say this. What would reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps that's what you really want. If so, hmm. you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. And that's what a child would do. You... What did you say? Listen. As long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I won't let you die. <sighs> what the hell? Everything you're saying is just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name is Byakuya Togami. And I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> He's so cool. I agree. I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of my family. I will not let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I have appointed to myself. It seems like Byakuya resolved it. For now. Well, even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there's no way Fuyuhiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Hmm. Ah. This is troubling! It looked like you guys were arguing. Still wasn't sure when they actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. An expression. Why are you dressed like that? Hey, um... Oh, didn't I mention in my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time. Oh, don't tell me you're going to... Correct. That's right. Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Uh, uh, Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? However... Can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course! Of course not. That's why I brought my partner. Why do I have a distinct feeling that <laughs> Monami's role in this is not going to be entirely dissimilar from Kenny's in South Park? What is this? Ah, figures. Thank you for waiting. Now then, without further ado, I am pleased to present Monokuma's side-splitting live two-man comedy show. Hey. I didn't hear anything about this. You tell me I have to improvise? Help. I'm speechless. Yeah, let's not talk about the backstories of characters we haven't even spoken to, please. Um, I'm Monami, and together we are the Monokumas! Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind-reading abilities! Somehow he looks less creepy with the suit on. Is it just me? Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food! Hmm, your favorite food Yeah, not necessary, Bam. You can do it. It's obvious what rabbits like. Keep it classy or keep out, please. Kid. That's right. Dabbers. I never eat a dead body. Now then, Monami's up next. Come on. What? There's no way I can do that. The lack of a belly button. <laughs> no I worries, guess. It's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy! I'm waiting for her to die at the end of this routine. So, which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive, or after you're already dead? Why would you ask such a cruel question? If I'm gonna summon the comedy, then I'll need a lot Comedeity. of blood! Blood for the blood god? So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm. Pretty please. No matter how charmingly you act, there's no way I'll let you take my blood. So I'll have to kill you first. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. You guys better be careful too. 
You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy. She's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. So, she's really nothing? They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Monami went out of her way to erase your memories. Say what? Wait, huh? You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Well, that's because Monami stole your memories. W what are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more. She didn't just steal your boring memories, like how you guys got She's to this island. She's rabbits. Oh god. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope's Peak Academy. What a shocker! Okay, so the same. Okay, interesting. Oh, uh... <sighs> I feel great now that I've shared that with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. Only a total hack would wait until the end of the story to reveal a cliched twist like that. Well, nice play on their own stuff. Uh, please stop. <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all. You guys just thought you were because you've lost all of your school memories. Quick, someone get a plagiarist because I feel like I've heard this story before. Seriously, this is bad in so many ways. Yeah, and they're kind of just taking care of that up front. But to be fair, you kind of expect it. <laughs> Not the rose right off her dress. I really want that picture. What did he mean? Hey! Hey! How was it? Was it funny? Or was the comedy too highbrow for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Your school memories completely... What is he saying? <laughs> There's no way. Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy, and then I was brought to this island right away. It's true. That's because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible. Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible! Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous. That's right! There's no way I have memory loss. You can't! I don't... Don't listen to what he says. Blah, 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 blah. Limit breached. I won't believe. I won't believe. I refuse to believe such a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories. That's a lie, right? Oh god, what is that a link to? Oh my god, and it's actually... Wow. That's... That's awesome. That is magnificent. It's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. What? How do you know that? Actually... <laughs> Why, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I don't feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. <laughs> So a long time has passed since then? Impossible! There's no way. Like... On the contrary, why is it impossible? D that's... Whether or not it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no! You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah! <laughs> but don't worry, I'm a generous guy. I can give you back your memories. Uh? Hey, um... Monokuma, actually, that was something that bothered me about the first game. I trusted everything he said through most of the game. However, 
I was rather disappointed that during the final trial, Monokuma lied constantly and repeatedly. Don't tell me the catch is... Figured it out yet? That's right! You guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. Have a good night, XL. Take care and rest well. Hey, hey! You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, man! Then you better start killing. I'm planning for your thoughts and the murder for your memories. You piss me off. Stop running your mouth. Why? Why am I so angry? I'm just providing you all the motive from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Oh boy, is someone gonna attack me now and get killed? I think someone's gonna get deaded. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. No, that's not your fault. Humans are natural born cowards. You even cry after the mom squeezes them out. Special bleeding service! That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Quiet. Stop this at once. You really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory lost crap in the first place. Mm. More than that, you guys really don't believe in each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, um... You guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah! None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Huh? Mm. Oh. Why are the 16 of you? And a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island. I got it! That's right. There's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just kidding. What are you, you saying? All well, this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense. It's obviously nonsense. Lame! For real, you guys. How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't know each other's true natures. <laughs> That's why, if any of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. In those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with them, anybody. Nobody said a word, they just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, it isn't that gosh darn awful. Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys. It makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? <laughs> Come on, make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you gotta find that person before they find you. <laughs> and I'm adding 5,000. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laugh faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. It consumed every one of us. Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? You got it wrong! It's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself. You're only making things worse for you by staying silent. That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe. That's I won't right. believe. I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Hey. Monami, you would know. Yeah. Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um... I mean... How can it be a chicken if it's a Gakurei? <laughs> the chicken, the missing fifth chicken that's hiding as a cow right now. Everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back at the past. <gasps> Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's, let's do our very best. Huh? She ran away. <laughs> How ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor. It's completely fictional. Dumbass! Can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass. And as he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories, all of my school memories, everything. A traitor hiding among us. But what really struck me was when Monokuma said, you guys don't know anything about each other. How much longer are we going to go tonight? I'm going to push to the first death. Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Hey. 
Hey. What should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep and try to keep our minds calm. Oh. I guess you're right. This is your leader's order. Just so you all know, do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um... Not troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now, too. Ah. That's not how that saying goes. But it's not, not her fault. She's a foreigner, after all. Yeah. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that. But later I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage, with my head dropping down to my or dripping down to my chest. And as I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. A traitor. Could it be someone who isn't like the others? Like someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all. I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind and collapsed onto my bed. Well, that was the assumption who the traitor was the first time around, and it was all inaccurate then. If anything... Um, I'm just gonna be looking at Nagito for now. Dude's too happy. He's obviously up to something. Those in my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. I say impossible is a word that's only found in a fool's dictionary. Obviously, it's impossible to use a word that's not a new dictionary. If someone can actually make the impossible possible. It's all over if you say that! You can truly call that person someone who doesn't have the impossible. Uh, words of wisdom, I guess. slowly and awkwardly sat up in my bed. Both my head and my body felt heavy, but it was still an improvement compared to last night. I also said we meet at the restaurant. What I'm kind of inclined to suspect is that... Yeah, actually that's pretty much exactly what I was about to say, Pocket Ghost, is that Byakuya is the one who's not meant to be here. There may not necessarily be a traitor, but Bianca is probably not meant to be here. I mean, it's weird as fuck that he is at all. Welcome back, Fred the Beard. By the way, you asked earlier about the um, the mobster voice. The reason is I can't do the crazy high-pitched voice the Monokuma has, so we settled on the Donokuma instead. Several people were already at the restaurant. Uh, nobody was talking. Not a single word. While I sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. I've made you wait. Is everyone here? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko's not here yet. <laughs> yeah, maybe he already got killed. <laughs> Dead bodies already? Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. <laughs> Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe... Goody, is he thinking up a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not! Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey! Well, is he Yakuza, isn't he? You understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia. Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk. What are we gonna talk about? Rejoice. I've decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? <laughs> a party? That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the? Party till the sun comes up? 
This is your leader's order. Just so we're clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hmm. On the contrary, there's no better time than this. Hmm. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait! Uh, hold on. I agree with Byakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendship with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party? Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. I wonder if he's basically measuring to see... Basically get everyone in one place and try to get Monokuma to show up while everyone's there. Just to kind of guarantee that none of us is controlling him. You fiend. You say that with such significance. It's all clear. Let's decide it. We're having ourselves a party. Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry! I'm terribly sorry. I'm so, so sorry for trying to meddle with your plan. I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. I'm so diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Yeah, I think Brogami remembers everything. Maybe not how he got here. But I think he remembers. In that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Mm. Where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this one too. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Um. An enclosed space? How pitiful. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. It's not nearly enclosed enough. Um. Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we'd all be pressed up against each other. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop you. Pressing up against the ladies while sneaking aboard the woman-only train and drag. I feel so lucky. There's something wrong with you. I can't believe how comfortable you are with saying your perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. I'm not entirely sure of that, but sure. <laughs> your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. Then how about that old-looking building near this hotel? Huh? That rundown place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only place that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However... Indeed. However, Monomi has forbidden us from entering that old place. As our call, it's in the middle of being renovated. Ding, 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 ding. I have heard your conversation, heard it all with my very own ears. <laughs> yeah, I have good ears, because I'm a rabbit. I see. Ah, so you use your ears. That's strange. <laughs> hmm. Now what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Hello! Aw, oh, she looks so disappointed. That's fine. You know, this is no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Yeah, his nose bleeds a lot. He's an odd one. Listen. I'd like to say he's gonna die, but I feel like he's gonna wind up more like a Fumi where he'll actually kill someone. Regarding the old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? Yes, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall allow it! So in that case, I'll allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> together? That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Do yourself a favor and stay away from Maris. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> Your kind words make me want to cry. Um... So we're all good with the old building? And? Now what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? I've never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I'm excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey! No way, there's no way you can dirty our dear princess's hands. Aww. Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Sheesh. Ugh, nobody's going to do it. Hey. Well, in that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? Actually. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. I go to the trouble of preparing this. That's what I do think would happen. See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? Judgment! Well then, let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. Also, ultimate lucky student should not be allowed to participate. All right. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks Nagito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done, I'm on cleaning duty, I bet. What? I I'm left with a red mark. <laughs> There's someone called the ultimate lucky student. You don't seem very lucky right now. Wow. 
Uh, I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. All right. First thing to prepare my ingredients, then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistaking it. Ah, and Tara Tara Hanamura will go all out. I'll prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then. I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. Femikon's gonna get the first kill. She's a nurse, but she knows how to kill in ways that be identify wouldn't be identifiable easily. We never know. She could be the kind who really gets off on the gore. There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring into space, so... Time to go hang with peeps. Now, without giving any specifics, I assume we are relatively close to our first body. Because I don't want to run too late tonight, but I would like to stop at a body. Now, who are we going to hang out with? Who's, who's that over there? Nah, she just cry. Maybe there'll be more schizo. Ugh. All right, well, let's hop into the market. Take a look around in here. Wow, does he look evil as fuck there, or what? I'm wondering when those night vision goggles will come into play. That's some serious goods over there. Huh? Are you serious? Ugh. Well, got monocoins. I should go get some more, uh, more gifts. I have to admit, seeing Nagito, I really, really wonder about, uh, Ultra Despair Girls, just given what we saw when we ran it. We only ran up through the first chapter, though. But I feel like, yeah, I was gonna say, it's totally gonna go by on that fucking belt, isn't it? Oops. Does that count as. Okay, go. I knew you could do it. Didn't click on quite the right place the first time, apparently. I won't start remembering names for a while. Not worth that people could die. Yeah, similarly, when we do stuff like XCOM or Darkest Dungeon, we don't name characters until they've been around for a little while. Otherwise, they just die, and then... You get unfortunate instances, like someone who had a character named after them who got headshot in the very first round of the next fight. That was unfortunate. Do! Do, Monokuma! Ah! 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 Wait, what is that? What is that a link to? Oh, good god, it's her friggin' jacket! Nice. Well, let's get ourselves a few more random things. Coffee. 
And there's still a low enough percentage that we don't really need to drop multiple coins in. Oh! Present for Gordon Freeman. Here, I can't even tell what the hell most of these things are. Heat rate doesn't actually go down. Well, that's a bit different. You know, out of curiosity, what happens if I throw a bunch of. Okay, no. It only works in five. Okay, so I guess repeat rate must work differently this time. Something for Chiaki, I bet. All right. So who who do we dare hang out with in our free time here? Yeah, I can see hanging out with Byakuya. I don't even want to know what he's doing with the cows. Suffice it to say, I definitely don't trust him. Alright, well, let's find Byakuya. He must be in his room. Oh, I'm next door to Byakuya? Cool, lucky me. Wow. This place is in much better condition. My place looks so boring in comparison. That must be the ultimate norm. Listen. What's the point of searching for what this means? We should be searching for a way to safely escape this place with everyone. Hey, man, that's... I'll continue to search for clues, but it won't stop you from following me. Well, that's nowhere near as offensive as it used to be. Looks like Byakuya let me get a little closer to him. All right, let's see. What do we have? Well, we got some cinnamon tea, non-alcoholic wine. Well, he's a classy man. Cadre baguette, potato chips, jeans, salt, coconut. No speak ring, earring of crushed evil. Men's manma. Infrared thermometer. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Flash suppressor. Wait. It's a suppressor for a gun? Interesting. The fun plane? It is a gag ball. We have two of them. How about that? Oh, hey, I wonder if the old-timey radio still goes over well with them. Really? It's like... It's like Kyoko's notebook. That'd be weird. I've already got Mukro's knife, though. Alright, I'm gonna try the old timey radio. You know, the Hajime, the ultimate noob scrub. Here. My heart will not be moved by something like that. Such ignorance. And there should be various other things, right? Such as that, or that. 
Hey, Ajay, let me ask you one thing. I guess he doesn't like it anymore. He loved it in the first one. Now I'm sad. Oh, me? I don't really mind, but... That's something I've been wondering for a while. I'd like to purge the question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you. What is your body fat percentage? Huh? <laughs> I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before? This can't be! You're saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear. This is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, uh, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. As we're looking at you, I'd say you're a 9, no, maybe an 8. Hmm. Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. I see. Ah, Burgami's getting ready to uh, launch a new headquarters somewhere very, very far from the equator. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? Yeah, none yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? What's with that face? Nothing, I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. How foolish. I think I get mad about something like that. A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. His personality is so overwhelming. This Kami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it'll grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Tugami, the ultimate affluent progeny. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. The commoners should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Byakuya gallantly strolled away. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know a little bit about Byakuya. Hooray! We spent time with the walrus. 